what I'm bringing to the hospital as a third time c-section mom this time is very minimal compared to the first two and I'm excited to sh like share I'm not packing my hospital bag but I do want to explain and share what I'm bringing in the hospital bag because you're gonna you don't need as much as you think you do if you're new here my name is Haley I am a mom of two and I'm currently 25 weeks pregnant and I will be having my baby via c-section scheduled c-section in less than 14 weeks or 14 weeks exactly so I made a little list of what will be in my hospital bag as a third c-section delivery no this is no particular order this is just what I'm bringing because we found out what we need and what we really don't need. Number one, uh, formula in bottles. I don't know if they're going to have the formula that I need for my children because my children are automatically go to soy. So that's what I'm doing. Formula, bottles. I'm not pumping. I'm not breastfeeding this time. So formula in bottles. Number two, we're bringing in Xbox and a monitor. And when I tell you the amount of people who get so upset, it's just so funny. They literally get up in arms about the whole situation just for him. I don't want to watch hospital TV for two or three days. However long I have to be there, I have to usually be there for two days max because of a C-section. And I'm not watching hospital TV. I'm going to watch my Kardashians or my reality TV on my Hulu or whatever, or Peacock, or whatever we have. Okay, he plays video games while we're there because I don't know if anyone's had a baby, but you're sitting there. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm, ha I'm having a C-section. I cannot get up. Just because I say he's bringing his Xbox to play video games doesn't mean he's not helping me with the baby. Like, two things can be true at once. Like, just because he's playing a video game doesn't mean that he doesn't help me. Doesn't mean he doesn't do everything for me. It doesn't mean, like, anyways, it's just, it's just so funny. People get so mad. I literally tell him to bring it. I don't give two fucks. I'm sitting there with the baby. Where am I going? What are we doing? And I enjoy watching him play video games. Like, we spend time playing video games together, so it's like, I'm not bored when I watch him. Number three, chapstick and lotion. Always bring chapstick and lotion and always have double of both because you'll lose one of them. You'll lose your chapstick from like your purse and then you need your man's chapstick. You know what I mean? Or like something happens where the chapstick's gone or the lotion's gone. Bring chapstick and lotion. Number four, number four, I'm going to be bringing the disposable like diapers because I found out the pads are I just hate the pads every time I move in the hospital bed it just leaks and I just don't like it um so I'm gonna bring the postpartum like diapers and we're gonna do that we're gonna use that for the first time um hopefully it works well I'm excited to see and everyone has been raving about them so why not why not why not try five is minimal baby clothes i'm bringing a going home outfit and probably like two sleepers i'm not bringing diapers i'm not bringing wipes i'm not bringing anything for the baby except the formula the bottles and literally probably like two sleepers because at my hospital there's diapers there's wipes and there's clothes um they had to give us a whole ba empty bag because our bags were full with baby stuff and we still had to take more from the drawers like they make you take it they're gonna charge you regardless but they make you take it uh, and i was not prepared so i'm not bringing anything i'm bringing a whole empty bag just for the baby stuff bring two empty bags because you may get a butt load last time with my daughter a year ago they gave me a whole pack of diapers unopened thank you it was huggies love that for me thank you six is two days worth of both of our clothes i know that i'm having a scheduled c-section typically i would pack more clothes if i was trying to have a v-back or be induced because with my first child it took five days and we were there from Monday to Sunday, but I was ha trying to have him from Monday to Friday, so we actually brought a lot of clothes. I'm there for two days. I can just not shower for two days. It's not that fucking big a deal. I just had a fucking baby, you know? So I don't bring towels. I don't bring any of that shit. I don't 
you can do that but I'm not I have number seven snacks they have a microwave downstairs in the cafe so if we can't afford to buy Michael food while we're there so lots of snacks he could bring microwavable meals like mac and cheese and things like that downstairs and microwave it and come back up if he really needs to snacks 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 and drinks drinks and snacks lots of water lots of you know just always make sure you have snacks a, his robe his blanket and his pillow <laughs> that's i'm not bringing a pillow i'm not bringing a blanket i give it to him but like I don't know it's different he's not in, he's not having the baby so I'm not bringing anything for me and that's just my choice I don't want to bring a robe I get too hot like I this is just me I know myself and I will not use any of it I'll just use their shit nine chargers do not forget chargers a hundred foot cord ten foot extension cords bring chargers you never know what you may need bring chargers and definitely an extension cord. I have to bring my camera charger. I have to bring, I'm bringing my tripod. Number 10, his cup. He has like a gallon cup. So that way, that's just something he like would prefer. Just put it on the list so I don't forget. Number 11, I'm bringing my laptop because I will be submitting all paperwork that we have the baby so we could get it situated with the state. Because the state will pay Michael paternity leave for 12 weeks but we have to submit everything and submit proof that we have the baby so I bring my laptop and I literally as soon as I hit postpartum where am I going the baby sleep he can hold the baby and I literally take 10 minutes and I submit all the paperwork so that way it's submitted right then and there and there's no further delay because it already takes like three weeks to get approved so number 12 is hair tie in all of my hair stuff like, I don't know if I want headbands or different scrunchies or different ponytails. I don't know if I can have scrunchies in OR or if I just have to have a normal ponytail or I don't really remember. In little containers and extra stuff for my tongue ring and my nose ring because they'll probably ask me to take it out, which I'm not taking this out. So my tongue ring for sure needs to probably come out in case for any reason that they have to put a tube down my throat for the C-section. I hope not. Or in a, a plastic bag to put my stuff in, basically. And number 13 is my tripod, which fits in my bag, and my camera, which fits in my bag. Those are the things I'm bringing. I'm going to try to vlog for myself, my documentation self, uh, for my memories. I'm excited. I am terrified. I'm going to do a whole video on how I'm scared about having another C-section, even though it's my third. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm bringing to the hospital. Literally, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, not much. This is just my preference my we we've, we've done this three times so thank you so much for watching if you like this video <laughs> make sure you subscribe anyways if you haven't subscribed already and you like my vibes please do thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next video bye